Dear colleagues, this is Fekai Malsification of a Cataract with Grade 3 plus Nuclear Sclerosis. In this case, I attempted Divide and Concur technique. Let us see what happened. The capsulorexis is being done. By this time, the incisions have been made. The capsulorexis is being done with a uterator forceps and it is completed. Now, hydro dissection is done. Fluid wave is burst underneath the anterior capsular rim near the equator. We go near the equator and and in this case it is being done at multiple points. The nucleus rotates freely. Viscoelastic substance is then injected into the anterior chamber. And now the tip of the phaco hand face is introduced into the anterior chamber and I want to do a trench just making this trench this trench making is a tedious job for me now but just to demonstrate it to the beginners I have to show this I want to make a plus sign I'm in FECO on mode ultrasonic energy is about 70 percent flow rate is 25 ml per minute Vacuum is only 50 millimeter of mercury. So, to make the trains, we have to set the ultrasonic energy according to the hardness of the cataract. Vacuum is not required, so, minimum vacuum about 50 millimeter of mercury. And flow rate is also just 25 ml per minute. So these reasons are worked upon and a deep trends is made in all directions. I am afraid to go deep and a beginner also will be afraid to go deep. So I try to crack the nucleus prematurely before I am at sufficient depth. So what I get is I get some cracks only in the nucleus. And here I sculpt it little more at the center but I don't get a nice division. I just get some cracks. So what to do now? I inject viscoelastic substance, take two hooks in my hands, this is a Sinsky hook in my right hand, this is the chopper in my left hand and manually I separate the nuclear fragments like this. So in divide and conquer technique, if, if you don't go to sufficient depth you just get a crack and in those cases you can use two instruments go in the floor of those cracks and separate the nuclear fragments and once the nuclear fragments are separated you can hold each fragment at this time the machine is set at FECO 2 mode where the 
vacuum is high, vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury, flow rate is 40 ml per minute, and ultrasonic energy is 65%. In this case here I'm trying to hold is fragment bring it to the center of the entry chamber and then emulsify yes we must remember this we must bring the pieces at the center and then emulsify because the entry chamber depth is maximum at the center now, in this case, after injecting some viscoelastic substance, I'm trying to remove the cortical matter by bimanual IA. And now see what happens. The nuclear piece, somewhere it was there, it gets, blocks the aspirating port of the aspiration handpiece probe. So what I do is I inject some viscoelastic substance around that small nuclear fragment and squirt it out of the anterior chamber. Bring it out. Just guide the fragment to come out by this Simco cannula. And by the Simco cannula itself I complete cleaning cortical matter on the left side. Some subincisional cortex also is removed by the Simco cannula. And now an intraocular lens is placed under irrigation. That means the antechamber is kept formed by irrigating fluid, balanced salt solution and the lens is placed in the capsular bag. The capsular bag is irrigated and the chamber is also irrigated to remove all the viscoelastic substance. Now the side ports are hydrated. Final lavage of the antechamber is done. Antechamber is formed and the case is concluded. Hope this video will help you in your practice, particularly for the beginners who are trying to do surgery by divide and conquer technique.